One of the things with HIV is that it's always been swept under the rug, in my opinion. People always, you know, it's like, ooh, it's, it's dirty. The stigma, we're quite clear on the stigma. It's like only through sex and only through those kind of people having sex and, you know, people that shoot up with me. It's always kind of stigma to it. So I feel that when they came along with the cocktail in the 90s, it, it was kind of like a relief to society. I'm going to speak about society in general a relief to society that AIDS was kind of over. So we can put that aside a little bit. That's been covered. You think about that the layers of stigmas, stigmas plural, that this population has to confront, you know, no wonder paralyze anybody. I mean, if you're a person of color, let's say you have the, you know, the issues of race, the issues, if you're gay, LGBTQ, the issues of being, uh, you know, gay or lesbian or, and then if you're HIV positive, you have the stigmas of being HIV positive, And now you're making your entrance to another layer, which is your aging. You're becoming an old person. Being LGBT people, we always have felt left out of society. But when you get older, that is a, a, a monster of another kind, you know, um, you're like over, really overlooked, you know, it's, it's like you disappeared. Our society still thinks negatively of people living with HIV, so these seniors might not get the same kind of warm and fuzzy feeling that every other senior gets. And I say, that's why I'm saying not nice. They, they rep. I love to see the numbers first in the data that says, this is how many of these people are. There's your, they're your grandmothers, aunts, and mothers. What the hell are we doing for them?